Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Bragg, here to give you everything you need to know about living in Phoenix. And today, we are taking a tour of the city of Chandler right now. We are in the historic uh, Chandler district over here. They got the famous Santan Brewing Company. And yeah, this is historic downtown Chandler. We're taking a look through this whole community, see why it's so great, why it's such a popular city that people are moving to, and especially families. Uh, number one recommended place for families, I'd say across the Phoenix area. That's what most people are saying. That's what you're gonna find online. Chandler is always the highest rated for families. So we're gonna take a look at it. If you're interested, I do have a free moving to Phoenix guide with everything I wish I knew before I moved to the Phoenix area. So just email me and we can check that out. So we'll kind of get walking here. We might take some weird turns as we go, uh, but we'll just kind of take a tour. I'll probably show you some side footage uh, of uh, the downtown Chandler district, get my face out of it. But why are people moving to Chandler? This is such an important question and, and a very popular question. Like what makes Chandler so great? I'd say there's kind of three main factors. I'd say number one, it's gotta be it's safety. Number two, it's schools. And number three, it's communities. So it's safety, quite impressive. It has the safest city rating in the Phoenix area. It's considered the safest spot to live, safest spot to raise a family. And along with that, uh, it has the lowest crime rate in Chandler in 35 years. The city of Chandler talks about how they have under a four and a half minute response time. So when you make that 911 call, you are getting a response within four and a half minutes. And it's almost half the crime, the violent crime rating than the average US city. So the average is about 22.2 violent crime rating in Chandler it is at 13.2 which is the lowest in the Phoenix area safety is a huge reason why people are loving Chandler so one thing to know about Chandler is that it's a huge tech company city like there's tech companies all around this area and that's really what put Chandler on the map was the amount of tech companies coming here and the first one that did it uh, was called Intel uh, maybe you've heard of it so Microsoft Intel that's one of the largest chip manufacturers in the world they're right by Ocotillo which we're gonna be a checking out here uh, but they have tons of tech companies uh, throughout the Chandler area and that has brought so many new jobs to it and it's made the city much larger and much more modern and most of those jobs are going to be higher paying as well when they're in these new modern tech companies and uh, so about their tech companies so they have about 200 uh, over 250 different manufacturing companies uh, which brings 26,000 jobs to the Chandler area. That's the highest percentage of people working in manufacturing amongst any city in the Phoenix area, basically saying that this is the tech hub of the Phoenix area. This is where the most major tech companies are. Now, there are some cities that are trying to compete with that, like Tempe and downtown Phoenix and North Peoria's got their major uh, tech company, TSMC, going up there. But Chandler is still dominating that space. It's a very popular spot for when tech companies are looking for a place to move to they're probably looking for here. So Intel being the biggest one, they also have NXP conductors and the microchip company. Those are three of the biggest uh, tech companies out here, uh, but there's tons of them, like I said, over 250. And when there's good jobs, that's gonna bring about a nicer community and it's gonna be just higher end in general, just nicer homes. Uh, the tech company's buildings are beautiful as you drive around, uh, lots of corporations and stuff around here. So tech companies is a huge part of Chandler, really what put them on a map and turned them into this great city that they are right now. Besides safety, there is the school districts here in Chandler. And unfortunately, Phoenix is known for having not good school districts. Just in general, they're the, typically the 49th worst funded state when it comes to schools. Now in good news, we're usually about middle of the pack when it comes to school uh, scores and testing. So the teachers are doing the best uh, with what funding they have. But on the flip side, Chandler actually tends to get funded more and has a much higher school ratings in the city of Chandler. And there's a few reasons for that. So the top reason being that actually tech companies in this area, we just talked about them being a huge tech area. Sorry, I'm getting smacked by trees. Uh, talked about them being a huge tech area. And these tech companies will help fund the schools to produce better employees in the future and, and just improve the overall schools here in the Chandler area. I mean, as you drive around Chandler, it's tough to miss all the companies and manufacturing that's going on, which then makes them want to have better employees in the future. And that's what they are doing. And so when it comes to the Phoenix area, Ch the Chandler School District, the public school district is rated number one. They have some of the highest rated charter schools with basis being the most popular. Um, they have an A plus rating on niche.com when it comes to to their school districts and many of their schools have that A plus rating as well. So you can see kind of where I'm getting at. So we talked about how it has the safest rating in the Phoenix area. It's rated the 23rd safest city in the entire United States. It has the best school districts in the Phoenix area. It has the big jobs. 
can see why this place has grown like crazy and especially growing among families. Uh, it is one of the most popular places for, I'm gonna turn around here, for families to move to uh, for those reasons that I was just mentioning. And it's hard to get away from telling a family that this is the best schools and the safest city. Like how could a family not agree to a place like that? And really the only thing that I can think of that could block them is a very big reason and that's because their prices are going to be higher. So we're gonna drive through some of their communities, but uh, I tend to compare Chandler and Surprise a decent amount because they're both newer cities in the most part. So modern communities, modern builds, um, but Chandler has a lot of things that I, oh my goodness, <laughs> that I would say are, are much higher quality than Surprise. So they have a better downtown area. They have an entertainment district. They have tons of tech companies. So they have more jobs and more entertainment than Surprise, but their biggest difference is that they are going to be much more expensive than Surprise. So we're gonna check out Ocotillo next, which is one of their best and probably their most famous community, uh, neighborhood residential area. And we're gonna check that out uh, just to see the kind of quality that you can get for Chandler if you're moving this way. So now we are here at Ocotillo, which is probably their most famous community just for how nice it is. It's extremely large. It's a beautiful community, uh, a luxury high-end residential community. Got the sun going right into my eyes here, uh, but it's got some unique features to it. Mostly the man-made lakes wind in all throughout the community. They have a really high-end golf course, the Ocotillo golf course there, right in the middle of it as well. So you got some beautiful homes on the golf uh, course. Uh, and so, yeah, there's some different sections of it. There's some condo living, uh, but most of it is higher-end uh, residential. And there's also some kind of uber luxury homes and gated communities throughout Ocotillo. So I'll just kind of show you around this area. Yeah, so you just got some modern build style and this is really all throughout Chandler um, is you have some beautiful modern homes and you can just see this kind of like unique, serene, mini neighborhood like they just add things to the neighborhood to make it feel higher end that most neighborhoods just wouldn't do because it's not you know space it's not going to be their highest profit but they do it to make this community extremely nice and some very nice homes i'd say these homes most of them built uh, within the last 15, 20 years, if not newer and just higher quality. You see these homes over here, uh, right ahead, if I can see my point. Uh, yeah, you've got the lake right on the back there. They've got this beautiful center like park area. And I would compare um, Chandler a lot to the city of Surprise. Um, just when it comes to the newness and the growth, but Chandler is way bigger and in my opinion, much higher end. It's much nicer, everything around it is nicer. As you're seeing, there's not really a community that has this nice of homes in Surprise and especially this size when it comes to how many large builds there are. So I'm gonna compare these communities a lot, but I would say Chandler is what Surprise wants to be, but it's missing the size and also I think the modernness of it as well as uh, some of the higher end communities like Ocotillo. I'll put you on a map just to show you where Ocotillo is and we'll show some other footage just driving around this community. As I was saying, this is just a beautiful community as we drive around here. They've just done a really good job using the space to make it look nice with a nice grass field. And its most signature point is going to be its lakes running through it. So they've got a bunch of man-made lakes just driving through the community. It's an extremely beautiful area. They've done a great job with it down in Ocotillo. And there's also some smaller communities all around Ocotillo. Some are super nice like Fulton Ranch. And they're all kind of clumped together to this Ocotillo location. Um, as far as the price range, the median home sale is 789000 in Ocotillo, which is high, obviously, and compared to Chandler, uh, the median is 575000 So that just kind of shows you the demand that Ocotillo has. And although 575 is pretty high for a median price in, in the Phoenix area city, there are 25 homes for sale under 400000 So there are still some good options for you. And, and not every community is, as, is obviously as high priced as Ocotillo. Uh, right now we're looking at Ocotillo, but we'll also take you through just one of their kind of more standard communities as you drive around. So yeah, this is just a typical community in the Chandler area. Nothing overly fancy, but just really nice homes. They're modern homes, probably built after 2000, if not sooner. Really well kept yards, beautiful trees in the front yard. You've got sidewalks. You've got everything you're kind of looking for, especially for that family lifestyle. And that's what all these communities are designed for. Our families, you know, they're typically, you know, someone's probably working in the tech industry in the family. They can find a nicer home. They live next to a, a great school or a great school district is close by. And then you get a great neighborhood, a quiet neighborhood where you're not too worried about, you know, people uh, parking a motor home in your backyard or something like that. And then also in almost every community they just have a green space or some sort of park inside it as well obviously designed for that family lifestyle again this is just kind of your standard community in the Chandler area now let's get into some of the best things to do here in Chandler and right now we're 
walking around downtown Chandler or the historic district. They're kind of interchangeable. This is the entertainment hub of Chandler, and they have constant events going around for people in the communities. Uh, one that's coming up is called Sip and Santa's, where you can go to all the best bars dressed up as Santa Claus. But they also have many family-friendly events like Easter egg hunts, different things like that. They have yoga at the market every Saturday. They got farmer's markets every Saturday from 9 to 1, uh, not including the summer months for obvious reasons. Uh, and they have their Sugarland Festival also uh, when it comes to the holiday season where they got lights and it's decorated for Christmas. And I'll have to show you uh, one of their unique things that they light up as well. Um, close by is the Chandler Arts Center uh, where they have theater productions uh, with North, the musical. It's happening this weekend right now. Um, but yeah, just all around this area, there's tons of shops and restaurants all around. It's just a really cool vibe walking around this area. Um, something unique. Um, definitely something that a lot of cities in the Phoenix area kind of wish they had just this fun area where people want to go you want to take your family when they come into town go to try some of the new restaurants some of the best ones out there is the Hidden House it's great for happy hour it's kind of like a fancier cocktail bar with seafood um, the Brickyard's a famous one and this right here is Santan Brewing Company extremely famous uh, beer company in the area and uh, this is their restaurant and um, they're based out of the Chandler area and you can buy their beers in stores and stuff like that so they're a pretty big name out here um, and then there's also the Brickyard which is a staple down here in downtown Chandler it's like a tapas bar shareable foods great if you want to try a bunch, bunch of different dishes this right here is what I was talking about this is a light up tumbleweed Christmas tree big deal in Chandler there's actually a couple cities in Phoenix that do it really goes along with that desert vibe that we love to give off in Phoenix and man Chandler really goes all in and they are setting up this giant tumbleweed Christmas tree uh, to light it up over the holiday season we are here at the Chandler Fashion Center. Uh, this is one of their main things to do. This is a giant indoor mall. We're going to walk through this whole area. I'll get my face out of this, show you some of the cool shops. They've got some unique stuff in here. Besides the typical mall stuff, it is, it's November and they got all their Christmas decorations up. So we'll see some of that as well. 180 shops, indoor mall. Let's walk around. Yep, so this is a two-leveled mall. We'll go up the top here. Macy's is key, as you'll see, but pretty cool just inside overall. Uh, all around this mall we'll walk around they've got some unique stores that we're going to check out uh, but also the big uh, main ones like a macy's um so yeah let's keep checking it out got a home mart here so a bunch of decorations all around of course the inside uh, bouncy house this is vr world so if you want to buy something or if you mostly want to go try some of the new vr stuff out there a uh, pretty cool experience custom tees get your custom made t-shirts all around here and then some of the classic journeys Hollister everything like that so yeah you can see they got a variety of the classics but also some stores you're not used to going to in a mall their food court area they do have some uh, more normal restaurants also but if you're looking for some fast food they got unique stuff over here too they got like a mac and cheese place a cheese steak everything like that pokey place there's boba over here so this is their kind of main food court area pretty big open spot i just kind of like the whole design of this area and right over here we'll check out a little better uh but this is the crayola experience quite a unique option that i've never seen before and it's obviously kind of designed for kids but everything you can imagine that you'd use for a crayola uh, they have in there so it's from even making your own colors and you get to name it they have experience they have like a room inside there where you can draw all over the walls make your own design they even got stuff where you can melt the the crayons and mold them into a design and like carve them out and shape them you got to pay to get in and uh, well I'm not a kid so I'm probably not going to go in there myself uh, but yeah this is a pretty unique thing that I've never seen before I think it'd be really fun I think if you got a kid this has got to be at least an experience you have to try once. They even put on shows inside there where kids can watch and you can take family photos. Yeah, it, it's really unique, kind of a full experience inside there. Here's just their gift shop as we walk around, but just you can tell the colors, overall fun uh, experience there. Keep walking around the mall here, get a little more footage. I know it's just a mall, but I think it's unique and it's definitely one of their main things to do. So I don't want to spend too much time here, but also show off some of the cool parts about it. I think one cool thing about this mall is that it's filled up and it's growing. I think that's a huge plus to see. Uh, there's definitely some older malls in the Phoenix area that are dying and getting torn down right now. Where this Chandler Mall, I mean, every single store is pretty much filled. We got a Lululemon going on right there. There's a unique thing going over there called Skills. I really have no clue what it is. It looks like kind of a more experienced thing. 
but the mall is full and it's growing, which is a really good sign, I think not only for the Chandler area, but just for the overall demand and the entertainment over here that it's popular. You don't wanna see a mall that's dying and it, it closes at 7 p.m. And, and no one comes in. So yeah, unique store, American Eagle. It's one of my uh, go-tos there. Also the Pepper Palace. I mean, I've never seen that before. Get uh, all the different salsas and uh, sauces that you're looking for. So. Yeah, this is the Chandler Fashion uh, Center. So hopefully you got a good feel for this. One of the main entertainment things. One thing also that I'll probably show off a little bit as we drive around the outside is just the different restaurants that they have in this area. So not many are in the mall, but just like in the parking lot, like basically in the same full center, they have tons of different restaurants, some higher ones like the Keg, which is a steakhouse, but some classics like the old Spaghetti Factory, the Cheesecake Factory, BJ's, they have restaurants all around. I mean, this is really like a main hub for things to do, places you go on a night out would probably be this area. I'll, I'll drive around and show you some of those different restaurants. Try to get the whole view here, but this is the Chandler Village, and this is mostly where you are going to be going to eat. Uh, especially over in this area for the most part right across the street you got famous days but this is just a fun hangout area cool vibes at night they got lights and stuff the outdoor uh scenery and sitting areas those are kind of a fun fun area in the common area so we'll take a quick look around but yeah it's called chandler village quite a few good restaurants in here you can see the main ones i mean there's a harkins it's an escape room old spaghetti factory bj's we'll take a quick look around yeah, just a pretty area they did a good job in here uh, there's a sicilian butcher somewhere around here which is a really good italian restaurant um but yeah right here they got an escape room if you haven't done an escape room you got to try it they got a big chessboard over there in the middle it's just it's just a cool vibe inside here so play nation got a video game center and stuff but a uh, movie theater over there but yeah this is just a cool little hangout area probably a spot you'll be coming to dinner quite often if you're living in chandler that's the full tour of living in Chandler. We'll drive a little bit around here just to show it off a little bit more. But thank you guys so much for watching. Everything you should know about living in Chandler. Hopefully you got a good idea of this. It's a very modern, great place to live, great place to raise a family because of the safety, because of the great neighborhoods, and because of the great things to do. And of course, the great school districts here. If you're thinking of moving to Phoenix, I'd be happy to help you. I am a realtor in the area. Uh, you can check out my free moving to Phoenix guide or feel free to give me a call or text if you want some help finding a place. But thank you guys so much for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos like this.